back to that dad guy. It's September the 8th, 2023. It's Friday, which means it's mail day. I did pretty good this week at the mailbox. I was very surprised because it's a short week here. Monday was Labor Day, so we only had four days of mail. Um, but my cards seem to be re uh, reaching their destinations relatively quickly. That means my official post crossing ones are getting registered and I'm getting them back quickly too. I got eight this week. I mailed out 11 earlier this week and I know some of them have already reached, well, not those ones have reached their destinations, but some of my other cards have reached their destinations. So I'm gonna have more to write again this weekend, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, World Postcard Day is coming up. I showed you the postcard that I'm planning on sending in, sending out around October 1st. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm gonna have uh, a bunch of new ones coming in too. I'm glad to see there's a bunch of creators that are um, creating or designing their own postcards, which makes it more exciting than getting the same postcard from everybody. Now, the, they put out the, the mailbox hugging one, which means that every country has their own mailbox. And uh, I think that's fantastic. It would be nice to get uh, a variety of countries having that. So hopefully lots of people are participating with that one. The moon one is really cool too. I appreciate that one and will appreciate it if one should happen to dawn in my mailbox. But the ones I really am looking forward to because I like the postal theme is the mailbox hugging ones. So yeah, that's my two cents on that. All right, let's get into the official cards that I have coming in and uh, we'll go from there. This first one was really neat. Uh, came from India. The stamp is just barely holding on. Uh, what's really cool about this card is that the uh, back is all set up that you can write on it. The front has the image, the beautiful post box, has my uh, PO box address on there as well. The person originally, um, Vendita, she sent me a message because she forgot to put her post crossing code on it. She remembered uh, after the fact and she was hoping it would get to me. Just happens that I got the uh, card a couple days after she sent me the message, which I really do like, Vendita. I really appreciate it. And uh, I wrote the code on the back, so now when I put it in my binder, I have them to match. So thank you so much for that. And the stamp, of course. All right, the next one is also someone who reached out this week to say, I hadn't got the card or I hadn't uh, registered yet. Hope it hadn't got lost. Uh, it didn't. It was only sent October, August 21st, but it was coming from North Carolina and coming here, which normally should only take about a week at the most to get here, maybe nine days at the most. Um, but it was taking two weeks and a bit to reach, and so she was worried that it got lost. Uh, but it showed up. <laughs> it is a hilarious one. I love this one. The cats are uh, being Godzilla to Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, it's just pretty cute. So thank you, Lily, for sending this. Uh, it came untouched. Nothing was canceled on it or anything like that. So thank you, Lily. There's the forever stamp. The next card I got came from Singapore. It's a Batman and Robin comic book card, the DC collection. And um, this comes from Kanan. He's 58 years old. And uh, he says, uh, hope you enjoy this card. I do. And I really enjoyed the stamps too. I don't get a lot of cards from Singapore, so it's very nice to see Singaporean stamps. And I've got a few uh, new ones here. This one here is actually from the Netherlands. So there we have a bunch of beautiful images on it. This comes from Cokes. And uh, she says that uh, there's a typical mailbox. There's one right here, the plastic ones that they have outside their houses. And she says, isn't our country Stunning. It is. I've been there once before. I uh, would love to go back again. There's so many places I'd love to see again. My wife and I went after university and traveled through Europe and got to see smatterings of beautiful things throughout uh, the European countries that we went to. And uh, it just made us want to go back and experience more and more. Here are the stamps. Put quite a variety of stamps on the back too. So I'm really happy about that. So thank you. The next card comes from Russia. It's a blue cat card. Always appreciate blue cat cards and the, the imagery that the artist uh, put into it and the expressions the cats have. Uh, this comes from uh, Oksana. Oksana lives in Moscow and she's only been in Moscow for about two years now, but she's really uh, likes it. So this is very interesting there. On the back, she's decorated with cats and the stamp. So thank you so much. I still find it interesting that we can receive cards from Russia, but we can't send back. So 
There's so many people that uh, have sent cards that I'd love to be able to respond to. I got another card from Russia, another blue cat card. So two blue cat cards in the week. This one is an Indian one. And uh, she, this comes from Natalia, and Natalia lives in S Suvent, maybe? Uh, but it's in si Siberia. She loves traveling, her and her husband, and they've visited many countries, but has yet to visit India. She has this card, and then she puts on these nice stamps. This one here uh, is a uh, representative of uh, Russia and their contributions to the Second World War. You can see the date on it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, of 1944. Uh, they paid such a huge toll, as many allied countries did at the time, uh, fighting the uh, Nazis. So that's just a commemorative stamp of their soldiers during the Second World War. And another beautiful, just really long stamps. Beautiful, well done. So thank you for that, Natalia. Uh, the next card I have it comes from Thailand. I haven't gotten many cards from Thailand, and this may actually be the first one through Post Crossing, at least official through Post Crossing. So we have this card, and this comes from Minori, and Minori has covered it in stamps. I really like the train stamp. This one's neat too, the fabric. So thank you, Minori, for that. The next one comes from Germany. We have a cute little hedgehog in a flower pot, and this comes from uh, Jana, who lives in the beautiful German town of Bremen, near the North Sea, and there with their family. He is a physiotherapist and a huge hobby into archery, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, I did reach out about that and says it's only a hobby for him, but he, he is enjoying it. There are the stamps and the nice cancellation from his town. So thank you so much for that. That's it for my officials. So now's a great time for you to hit subscribe because you kind of know what my channel is all about now. Uh, leave positive comments, share with other people. Uh, channel's been growing and I'm very happy about it. We are getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. Now, this next card is a uh, direct swap, but it was a um, postcard that I sent as an official that went to Australia and then the person who received it said, can I have your address? I want to send you a card back. So this may be the start of a nice pen palette. This comes from a Jazz Want, and uh, she sent a maxi card. So there you can see the, the image being the same. Uh, she says that it's returned for uh, the official one that I sent. And uh, yeah, just nice little message. So I'm going to send you one back. If you happen to be watching this, you're getting a card back from me again. And uh, I don't get a lot of cards from Australia, so I appreciate that. This next card comes from Michelle in the United Kingdom. Um, she says she's been having a busy summer, and now things are starting to get back to uh, routines, I guess, is where we're at now. Here we have some beautiful stamps. I haven't seen these ones before, especially this one, the submarine. I haven't seen that before. Really cool. Uh, she's always great at putting uh, different stamps on the postcards for me, and I appreciate it. Now, this one, Bravocado, uh, made me smile, and it's all green, the whole thing, too. But this comes from our friend Bex in the UK. Uh, I'm so glad to get another postcard from her. It's been a while since uh, I've had communication with her, so I'm glad that I was able to. And she's got a new stamp on there, too. Not been cancelled. So thank you, Bex, for reaching out and uh, just keeping me in the loop. Uh, this next card comes from Sam in the United States, and this is from Easter Island. Her and her husband got to go to Easter Island on a vacation off the coast of Chile. Um, so this is the first time they traveled abroad in over three years, and it means a lot that they sent me a card while they were away. There is the Ch Chilean stamp. And how cool that would it be to go to Easter Island? seen these images, these heads for a long time in documentaries. And um, one day, one day might get to go there. And just noticing that all the heads there too. <laughs> so thank you so much for thinking of me guys and uh, sending me a postcard from your travels. All right, this next card, ta-da, comes from the Philippines. This comes from Rovic. Hadn't seen, heard from him in a bit either. 
but uh, he says he got his report card a few weeks ago and he made the honors list. So congratulations to you. He's going into his ninth grade. So I hope you've got a good school year coming ahead. Keep up the great work with your studies. Um, there was no stamp on the back to show you, so I can't show you that. But uh, thank you, Rovic, for uh, keeping in communication. All right, this next card comes from here in Canada, in Ontario, though. It comes from Kathy. I shot JR. I saw ET, Sesame Street Kid. These are all things that you may have uh, had buttons of when you were in the 80s. Uh, so she said these remind her of her childhood. Uh, Cookie Monster was her favorite, and Big Bird, Big Bird was a close second. Um, yeah, I was a big fan of uh, Super Grover in Sesame Street. So he was a, a great character. And yeah, these buttons all remind me of a certain time, too, as a childhood. Uh, I guess we've had similar uh, experiences because we're of similar age. So thank you, Kathy. And there is the step. Not been cancelled. Now this next card is a custom card. It comes from Nicole in Ohio. She was uh, doing up some of her recycling and had this box of Lego that her uh, son had done. Look at those cute bees at a Lego. And so she thought she'd send me a homemade card with this box. And there are the stamps, Mother Teresa in the middle. So thank you for that. And the healing PTSD, so we know how important that one is too. So thank you, Nicole, and thank you for the message on the back. This next card is just fantastic. It comes from Luna in Italy. Look, I don't know if this comes, is definitely not being portrayed as well as it can, but this is a shimmering gold card. All these different images said so this is from her nearby town on the Adriatic coast, uh, San Moro, where her grandfather was born. And she is letting me know it has been a year of us pen palling back and forth and uh, cultivating the friendship that we have. So, uh, so important to have great friends and Post Crossing has brought so many of them into my life. Uh, very pleased uh, to have Luna as one of them. So thank you. Uh, this next card comes from Monty in Saskatchewan. He says it's harvest season. So we've got some harvesters out in the field here on this uh, vintage card uh, on the Saskatchewan prairies. And uh, he said that he saw my video about uh, my family trip when we went to see the Gilles Villeneuve Museum. And so on the back, he put Gilles Villeneuve stamps on there. How cool is that? These were actually in the museum, these stamps and first day covers. So um, I'm glad to see them on the card, driving his Ferrari. If you didn't get a chance to see the video, check it out if you're into car racing and uh, cars and sports and all sorts of stuff. All right, this next card comes from... Renee Lewis, you got to watch her on YouTube. She's part of the Unicorn Gang, and uh, I put out a video well, a week and a half ago, I guess. Uh, our first video of the Unicorn Gang featuring Renee, Jilly B, and myself. One day we'll get Lewis in there if he's a part of it, and maybe the gang will grow from there. Who knows? But we have homemade biscuits. She said she saw one of my videos that talked about how I like biscuits, so she thought she'd send me a postcard when she was uh, in Graceland she got this one on the back she's decorated with the unicorn with the forever stamp and uh, it says it takes about 15 to 20 minutes I'm putting that recipe up there so you guys can do a still on it and uh, make it yourself if you like but there are a bunch of recipes now that I have with uh, that dad guy answers recipes that came through that I'm gonna have to do a couple videos of me trying some of the recipes out Renee wasn't done though from Graceland she sent me this postcard as well of Elvis and his pink Cadillac and uh, she was just getting these things together she went for this trip uh, just before school started for her her and her friend went for a drive to Graceland because it's only a couple hours away from where she lives uh, she put a narwhal the unicorn of the ocean on the bottom there and we've got some nice stamps including the snowboarding stamp that's a recent one that come out so thank you Renee uh, this next one comes from Stamp X this comes from Judy in Florida so I haven't seen cards, well, I've seen a couple color cards like this that have the blank at the bottom and kind of say the name of the color, but I haven't seen them like this with the stamp on it. So very cool. Uh, so this artwork by Richard Sheaf was used for the design of the Ameripex 1986 stamp issue to honor the International Stamp Exhibition being held in Chicago, Illinois 
on May 22nd to June 1st, 1986. The stamp was issued in Chicago on May 25th. And there on the back were a bunch of other stamps she put, including the matching stamp to the postcard. So that makes it a maxi card. She talks about how they were getting ready for the uh, hurricane that was running through at the time. Hopefully um, she was okay. Was nothing happened from that one. Because this is kind of the hurricane season, so they're kind of running through all the time. And places like Florida and South Carolina um, seem to get hit with a lot. And then by the time it gets way up here up north, we just get rain. We don't get a lot of the winds and things that go with it. But it is a scary time for many. So I'm glad uh, to get the card, and hopefully you continue to be safe. The last thing I got, I'm not going to show you everything in it. It comes from Lila in Maryland in the United States. And uh, she went to a stamp thing. And so she found some things and sent them on to me. So I'm going to save that for another video so you guys can see that. I like to kind of tease a little bit when I get a gift and uh, hold it off for another video. What else? Tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers, part 83. So you got to go to part 82, leave me a question, and I'll answer it tomorrow. I've also had a couple of more recipes, at least one, or maybe even two, have come in uh, since last Saturday's video. So I'm going to read those off tomorrow and uh, answer whatever questions you guys have had for me. So that's what the plan right now. It is a beautiful day outside. It's about 30 degrees, but with the humidity, it's 38. So I'm glad to be inside right now, but working on this video, but also glad that it's not raining. Uh, next week, it looks like we're in for a bunch more rain. So the little break we've had here with some sunny days might be coming to an end. That's it. That's all I got for today. Make sure you subscribed. Make sure uh, you leave the comments and uh, leave me some questions for tomorrow. And uh, we'll talk soon. Have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?